Preparing a puzzle to display on a wall like this without a frame is a simple process that takes just a little bit of your time and a few products. Let's see how it's done. Hi, I'm Sandra from The Puzzling Canadian and welcome to my channel. Uh, recently, I did a video showing how to glue a puzzle. I was gluing a puzzle, a Star Wars puzzle, so that I can get framed. Um, but I also showed you some of the puzzles I have here that are without a frame. And how I do that is I glue it and then I provide, here's an example here, I glued this one, and then I put a backing on it and then put some Velcro strips to hang on the wall like this. So I recently had a viewer who left a comment saying that they would be interested to see how I actually put this backing on a glued puzzle, a glued puzzle and have it displayed. So I thought it would be nice to have a, a subsequent video to the uh, previous one, uh, letting you know how I do it. So I'll show you the products that I use and then I'll show you the clip. So again, like my previous video in which I glued the puzzle, I still use Mod Podge in gluing the backing. I use uh, some, again, some more tape, some score tape, which is a, a double-sided tape. You don't have to use this one. I just have this one on hand. Um, you can find these at craft stores, maybe Walmart or Amazon. Um, as long as it's a double-sided tape and I put that near the edge. I also use as a backing um, a Bristol board and this I purchased at the dollar store. I'm pretty sure they'll have it at any dollar store and you can use white or you can use black, whatever's available. As you can see, they had black ones there. So that's what I picked out. Um, and that is all. And then when I'm ready to hang up the poster right here, I end up getting these Velcro strips from uh, 3M. I have a bigger size and a smaller size. So those are the products that I'm going to be using. So now I'll just show you the clip of um, how I put the backing on and getting it prepared so I can display it on the wall like this. So that is the process I go through in order to put a backing on a puzzle so that I can then put it on the wall. So the first thing I do is I glue the puzzle um, and I did that beforehand. Um, and if you want to know how I glue the puzzle, I'll attach the link to that previous video to show you how I glue the puzzle. Once the puzzle is dried then, then I got to prepare the backing. So what I do is I measure the Bristol board. So I have a Bristol board here. and um, if you notice that puzzle is a white mountain puzzle. So a white mountain puzzle tends to be larger than the average puzzle. So this is a hay puzzle. And when I did this one, I only needed one Bristol board and I actually had to trim it a little bit to uh, make it fit here. And then I don't go right to the very end. I just go just barely to the edge. Um, but with the white mountain puzzle, I had to use one entire Bristol board and a little bit, um, because they are a little bit bigger. So you got to measure the puzzle that you have on the table and then cut your Bristol board to the size so that it will cover the puzzle like this. Okay. So, and then what I did is I um, took the score pal tape and I put it along the edges. Um, so I put it along, as you could see at the edge right here just so that it could be a little bit more stickier on the edges there. And then I put um, one little small piece to go there just for extra security. Um, and then I would take, so I put that to the side and then I would take the Mod Podge 
and pour it in the middle of the uh, puzzle just to spread that. So now you're using two glues to keep it nice and um, adhere, uh, adhered to the puzzle. So I do that and then I press it. So I take off the uh, tape, the double side tape. I take it off so that it's now ready to go. And then I put it on top of the puzzle and I press down, um, putting pressure so that it stays. Then what I do is I get something heavy. As you can see in the video, I had some scrapbooks that I have and I put those on. And then after I went and looked for some books to fit into the little edges. So I want like something heavy in every corner so that, let me just move this out of the way, so that like the edges here don't lift up, right? So I'm putting, putting stuff heavy there and I then just leave it there for um, a few hours in order for it to uh, get really sticky. Uh, probably just a couple of hours that you would need. And then you could take a look to see that it's nice and firm and sturdy. So then once it's all firm, then I could either leave it like this if you have like a little ledge, you could display it on the ledge. If you want it on a wall, then what I do is I have these adhesives. Let me just take one out here. They're adhesives like this and they're sticky together. I just pull them out and I stick a few around here and then I take the tape off, stick it to the wall. So that is what I do to prepare my puzzle. Um, for display on the wall when I don't want to frame it. I put a backing on all my puzzles because I just find it sturdier, sturdier on the wall and makes it easier to take off the wall with the Velcros. So I hope you found this video helpful. Uh, and um, if you actually use this process, please let me know. I want to know how it went for you. Um, if you were successful, if you have any further questions uh, about the process, please feel free to leave that in the comment section and I will do my best to help you out and answer your question. Um, if you um, haven't had the opportunity yet to subscribe to my channel, please do so. And then you'll be able to see some of the other videos I have uh, planned for the next couple of months. And um, thank you again for checking out this video. And until next time, happy puzzling.